guys, it's your boy Flight. Back again with another In the Classroom episode. This is number six in the In the Classroom series. Today we're going to be doing a demo review on my friend Toychev. I used to play matchmaking with him back when uh, I just started playing Counter-Strike. And he's kept playing since then and I've kept playing since then and we've both improved a ton. And he, this, I normally don't do demo reviews like this. Uh, this is a matchmaking game, so I'm not going to be able to give like teamwork tips. This, the tips here will be more about like what fights to take and positioning on the map. So that is what we're going to be doing this game. So let's get into it. Okay, so he spots T spawn, doesn't see anyone. Sometimes people pick mid with clocks and stop the mid push. There's gonna be a playback plat. Um, you're really the only B player. Honestly, like instead of moving so much, like bro, you saw one like one person's on catwalk. That's something you have to know. Like, look at this. Oh my god. Okay, I accidentally all tabbed. So the thing about that is, look. There's only one person catwalk, and your teammates are like, yo, one cat, one cat. There's one. There's one person. And you went from playing back plat, which is a really good spot to play, to, like, no man's land. And it looks like you're probably going to go to, like, B-doors now. So just stay committed until you see bomb, especially if you're going to be, like, the anchor uh, on a bomb site. So, yeah, just don't, don't be too easy to rotate. Have some, like, steady feet, as I'd say. See, so, yeah, see, so you're going all the way down mid. They can just go into B if they want. Like, no one's even playing B. You still think there's like three cap, but there's not. There's two lower tons. And so now you're like, oh, they could actually be in B. So yeah, just be more uh, careful when to rotate. You hit a shot on that guy. Get the next kill, good job. Do smoke tons just in case they rush, which they are rushing. You pre it, which is good. You. The thing is, there, you want to pre nade that earlier because if you throw it late, they can already be out of the tunnels like they were. So make sure, like, you, because I play B for my team on Dust 2, and that's a map coming up. So what you want to do is just smoke tons and then nade, like, boom, boom, right? If, if you're going to pre nade, nade like that. Also, when you're peeking, don't swing out because what you're doing is better for you to, uh, here, let me go into slow mo and then play this. It's better for you to hold an angle like this and wait for someone to, like, run into your crosshair. Because if you just sit here, and then they come out and you swing, three people are looking at you, right? But if you hold an angle close like this, I mean, theoretically, they can wrap over here, but first, normally, someone's going to be on this side, and you can just pick them while they're looking B-doors, and they won't even be looking at you. So mainly, what I'm trying to say there, and get across, is to make sure you're taking one fight at a time, instead of, like, 1v3 fights, you yeah. know? So your teammate smokes tons, you get back plat early, you're spamming... So yeah, like right here, you, you haven't spotted a bomb yet. Now you just spotted a bomb, so now you're probably just gonna like rotate fast. But there, if I'm you, I would just stay back plat. If you're gonna play back plat, play back plat until the round is over. Like, oh, that's two C bomb, obviously. So you smoke tunnels. Looks like your teammate doesn't. You thought about aiding, but then you changed your mind. See, like, you just move a lot, dude. Like, you, you should just kind of slow it down. Get a little bit slower and, like, play spots for longer periods of time instead of, like, playing back flat for three seconds and leaving. So your B player died and now you're forced to rotate back in. It's not a bad rotate. You hit your kill. Or you hit your shot amount. On it. It's a good idea there to go window, but it's also a good idea to go door. I don't disagree with that play because if he went window... Um, which normally, if I'm him, I would have gone window, because what happens is, the CTs, hold on, so for this guy's point of view, what the CTs can do is they can see over the smoke. This guy might actually be shot by the CT guy, but basically, yeah, so he's getting shot. You can get shot from CT, but what I'm saying is if you play B doors in that situation, and the T goes window, 
your B door, so he doesn't see you when you go window, and you can wrap around and shoot him in the back when he goes window. So that's actually not a bad play. That was a good play, but it just didn't end up working out for you, since you were low health. Do you smoke tunnels? Take a couple of pop shots to smoke. You're right there, you're aiming too high by the way. You're aiming like just a bit too high to hit the head, you have to aim a little bit lower. Like, theoretically you'd only hit them if they're jumping. It's good that you're flashing before you peek that, because a lot of people hold the angle. Nice. Good utility usage. Um, also another thing, I know they didn't punish you here, but when you play better players, or get to the point where you play better players, when you reload like that, the other team hears that, and even they know you can fake, they might just take advantage because they know, like, they need to make a play, like, in that situation. Well, they didn't need to make a play, but basically what I'm saying is a lot of players, they'll hear the, re uh, the reload and they'll push you, so try to reload in, like, safer spots. That wasn't really that bad, I'm just, sometimes that'll happen. So you go window, jump back flat. No one's there. Honestly, it's good to save your smokes like you are. I mean, you don't have a smoke, but I think your teammate does. Nope, neither of you had a smoke. But even when you do have smokes and teams aren't putting, like, a uh, fast B pressure, sometimes you don't even need to smoke tons. Just don't don't burn your smoke on tunnels. Sometimes it's not even worth doing. Because if, if they're not tons, or make, giving you, like, challenging you, then why would you smoke it? That, that's what that C is trying to do. He's trying to get you to burn some utility on tunnels. So it's what, 4v3? You're not even in B, this is what I'm talking about, you having happy feet. Like, you need to just chill out and play uh, like one spot at a time. See, right here, you shouldn't be peeking into him, even though it worked. Um, a better play would have killed you there. Just crossing over. Is that a flash? Oh no, it's a decoy, okay. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Interesting nade. I'm actually gonna take that nade. No reason to spam the doors. I know you're feeling nutty, but no reason to spam the doors. It's not really gonna do anything. Especially on the new Dust 2 hashtag ripple doors. So you smoke tons. Spot bomb up cat. Maybe you didn't, or your dog guy didn't, but bomb cat. Nothing to say about that. Gotta be able to turn from that flash. There for a while. So once window, they're out mid to B. Um, this is not a bad spot. A lot of times if they're coming mid to B. A lot of times if they're coming mid to B, it's better to like push tunnels and take control of tunnels before they get out mid. Like maybe on our hand flash, do some buggy. That's just like food for thought. You hit the guy crossing. He didn't kill him though. Now you killed him. Flashback. Yeah. Okay, so you end up killing him, but you shouldn't have. Um, when you're middle like that, try not to stand in the middle. You either want to be playing, like, oh my god, I alt-tabbed again, jeez. Alright. So basically, when you're playing mid like that, and you're holding mid, you either want to be holding, like, right here, in front of CT, or right here, uh, in front of, like, the B part of mid, just because, say they do flash through the mid smoke, which is, a lot of people actually do, even, like, whether mid smoked or not, they'll pop flash through mid. Um, if you're right here, what are you going to do? Freaking get blind and jump? Like, freaking foon out? No. Um, you're going to want to be playing CT or right here, so if you do happen to get blind, you can fall back, or you can just fall back like that. You know. You want you want roots to stay alive. In Counter-Strike, you want to be, like, one good mindset to just kind of flow through your brain, 
every time you're playing on CT especially is like, if, where can I fall back from where I'm playing? If the answer is no, then play somewhere where you can fall back because this is not a good spot uh, to play. In the case of you having to fall back, so make sure you always have like an escape route that you can go with. This is the rushing B, you hear it. You're playing close up. Um, honestly, it's better for your team. I know it's matchmaking, but it's better for your teammate to not peek it, peek it like that. And it's better for him to hold a crossfire with you. So let me go in a slow-mo so I can free cam. So when they're coming out of tons, they get like right here. This guy's going to be looking here. Your teammate from there shoots them and then you shoot him in the back and then it's a crossfire. Instead of him like taking fights on the box, looking here, he get he dies. And then they have like, basically what I'm saying is the T's have two one versus ones instead of like a crossfire to go through. And crossfires are much more potent than two 1v1s. So you're low on money this time. You have a FAMAS, your teammate's gonna push tunnels and get information. You know they're not tunnels because your teammate pushed. Your teammate dies in lower. You should rotate back to B deck right now. Kind of late on the rotate, getting caught up on mid. This guy 100% knows that you got distracted mid. Because I called it, and it's battle on one health players, and the online player that peaks wins. So, yeah, you just get out position there. It's just positioning again, like, stop moving so much. You just move so much. It's. You just gotta chill out a bit. So, you guys are boosting Fescat on an eco, and no one can seem to boost. So you need sight, a good nade. You don't end up getting a kill. So you have an op and you just get out pick mid. Um, I mean if you're gonna take the mid pick, hit the shot. <laughs> I mean there's nothing I can analyze about that. So you have a scout, you're gonna go for like a scout pick through the door maybe? Yeah. Um, when you do that, make sure you counter strafe before you shoot because if you're still running it's not accurate at all. That nade missed, I think. No, it didn't run. The, that's always a good nade to throw, though. That gave you that one-shot kill on him. Yeah, see, like here, you still have a really bad escaper. Like, still holding this, dude. They just flashed in mid, you're dead. Yeah, one drop spawn and kill you, like, freaking pugger. Okay, second half. If you're peeking long, you shouldn't peek us at all. Just because they have USPs, they have an advantage on you. You're two out of ten times gonna win that fight, so that's never a good fight to take. You're looking to run down middle. You know, whenever you see this smoke, just understand that they could be pushing lower tons, and that's what they did and they killed you. Whenever they throw that like kind of aggressive mid smoke, they're always normally gonna like push tons or push cat or do something aggressively. So you just run through the smoke, you dink him twice actually, so, good aims, but then get the kill because it's blocks. So you flash over long A, go out, oh you're going to do a one way, okay. If that's your thing, do your thing, but I don't like one ways. Waiting for smokes to clear. You have one flash, I would flash over long before I peek, fire you. Yeah, should flash. Because they're almost always going to have an op there. You scout mid, you hit a nice shot, good or. Oh shoot. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. Okay, so you should just hold that instead of like holding, moving your directional keys, you should just post up and pit. Because a lot of times, what people will do when people are running up long A, is someone will f like flash through the spawn smoke or just straight up peek it like that guy did. So if your teammates are pushing up and they get blind or killed, and the CT swings out whether he gets flashed in or it's just like hype off of some kills, you're in pit, you have like the best angle in all of Counter-Strike to kill him, uh, because he can only see your head and on most resolutions besides like the highest resolution, you can't even really see his full head, so... Um, yeah, pit is a lot better spot to just kind of like, like be the, like the angel on your teammate's shoulders, if that makes sense. So if they need help, you can help them out. 
So nice long flash. See when you hear that when you hear that long when you <laughs> when you hear that long guy shoot his off shot, <laughs> I guarantee you the opper will never run pit after he shoots a shot. If you hear that off shot, you should immediately just strafe out and let your teammates follow up on you. Well, you didn't go with anyone, so that's already a mistake. Don't go out a place like long A early without any teammates. Just just an awful idea. Um, but if you're going to and the off shoots, make sure you get out because then you can have a quick 1v1 with this guy. And then if you don't get that and he doesn't give it to you and he stays in pit, then you can just chill behind a uh, blue bin. Okay. So next round. You're just freaking scouting it off here. The... Okay, and you just died. Okay, so you're just going long here. Looks like they want to boost. And your teammate kills the boosted guy. Nice nade, that should kill him. Oh, no, it didn't. GS go. You should really hide, like, if you're going to be on site, a good spot to play if they're trying to go for jump shots is to, like, behind that box or behind this box, but in this situation, it'd be behind that box because your teammate has your long, so there's no way he's going to come up ramp. The only place you have to worry about is catwalk, so that that box behind you would be better to play on. So you hit the flick onto that guy, and you have a clock, and you clutch up, so good job. Hey, okay, pick mid. You go for the tag, you miss. Okay, you saw him cross back. Smoke cross. Gonna nade sight, that's a good nade to throw. If it goes a little bit deeper. So you watch that push. He pushes, you get the kill. Good job. Molly car, that's a good molly to throw. You hit your molly. Good important. Gonna try to finish this flank guy. You shouldn't invest this much time into killing a guy flanking, but it works, so. so next time you should just stick with your team and just watch it from a distance, especially because he has a 5-7 and it's not good out of range. Nice cat nade. What? <laughs> Dude. Later. That's all I had to say. Later. You're not mid. You're probably gonna need the kill here, to be honest. You saw his barrel. Oh, you saw him. Whatever. It's because I have extra round, probably. I can see things better. Run up catwalk. You catch a guy off guard rotating. This is an off CT. You should just hold an angle on him from like top of the box. That's what I do. Or your teammates already doing that. Okay, so you, do, you basically do that anyways, so that's good. Okay, so you like throw a decoy over on catwalk. Interesting. Actually, not even a bad idea. I like it. So you realize that they're on a full save and you can USP, so that's kind of smart. But still, you have an op. You should be, like, when you're playing the op role, unless you're trying to get entry frags on, like, a very slow-paced game, the op should be the guy sitting in the back of the pack, just kind of watching over people pushing. So. And you end up getting that kill, so good job. Go on, PT mid. You molly long doors so I don't come push through. You run up A. Okay. Nice shots, good spray. You hear this guy like clear as day, so you should be able to know he's coming. It's good. 1v1. Where's the bomb? Catwalk, smoke catwalk right now. Smoke it, smoke it, smoke it. Uh, yeah, when you have a, like, when you're clutching, when I'm clutching especially, or just in general when you're clutching, what you want to do, 
when you're in a clutch and you're like last one, two, three alive, look at your utility and say, what can I do with this utility to like up the chances of me winning this round? And there you should have been like, I have a smoke, the bomb's down cat, let me smoke cat, right? Because you know the CT's teammates said, bomb's down cat, you can watch cat, right? But if he gets smoked out, there's not much he can do. Especially because he doesn't have any naysays. So you actually lose that round, which could actually result in you losing the game. Possibly. So. Nothing long. You guys can get out. These cars, you should molly him. Anyone got a molly? Nope. So you guys are kind of stuck until you push him. So he ends up peeking out, you get the kill. You die. You end up winning that round, good job. And you die mid to a scout, so make sure you're not pushing mid like that. Um, especially when they could have a scout or not. And they could always have a scout, so that's always a risk. So yeah guys, thanks for watching this episode of In The Classroom. I know this was on like a lower level player, no offense to Wojciech, but you're not the same like tier of player that I normally review. So uh, thanks for watching the video guys. I'll be back again tomorrow with another In The Classroom video. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time. And don't forget to rate the video.